Now, it's a little strange out there, isn't that, with uh, you know what I'm going on. I'm, so let's just look at Zoom interactions for now, because I'm sure you've been in a few of them, and you kind of wonder, there's a lot of people in there, who's speaking, what's their perspective, how do you understand where they're coming from, right? So let's just say there's another way of framing the conversation. Oh, this is still around. Okay, this, this, this has to go. What if there was a way that you could look for multiple perspectives and understand that the frame that the person is in is coming from one of those perspectives? Now let's look at the inflow matrix and the synergy wheel. And here we have research, infrastructure, learning, operations, creativity, synergy, services, interfacing, stewardship, and communication. And what is assumed here is that these 10 functions are in every business, whether you know it or not, and that it's an actual perspective that you see through to see the whole system. So some of your tasks, some of your goals, some of your roles, all these things exist within these 10 functions. And then what we do is we click our fingers, click. Et voila, look at this, magic. Snap the fingers, magic. Here we are inside the communication frame. So if somebody was in here, they'd be focused on the conversations, helping people to talk, mainly the position of the facilitator. Next, we have research. Research is looking at all the different fields, lots of different fields out there. And the research is taking a very long-term approach, lifetime cycle, seeing it over seven generations, seeing it over the lifetime of whatever they're looking at. Very different from just short-term thinking. Next, we have resources. And the resources person has all the stuff. They have everything you need. The resources person is very, very important. They focus on resources over a period of a year. They're looking over the long time. They're thinking about everything, what everybody needs, how to get it, how to organize it, and how to move the money, information, and energy, and people flow so that everything works so beautifully. Wouldn't that be nice to have? Whoever is in here is looking at the focus of the jobs, learning the jobs. They're the coach, they're the teacher. They're looking over a period of a lunar cycle. They're seeing all the different people on the team and they're wondering, how can I help them get better? How can I help them do a good job? How can I train them to reach their highest potential self? Next is the operations person. They're focused on all the daily activities. What's all the work that's got to get done and who's going to do it in which order and is it getting done and they're doing things on top of it, right? Which is very different from these guys, the artists who are creating the products, the products that are going in a seasonal cycle. You got more time, you got a little more give, the operations is there to help, but the real stuff is the beauty that is coming through the products and the creativity of the organization of the person. Now, I know you're wondering who's dealing with the people. All this is fine and dandy, but there's people involved, human beings, which is a little bit different. And that's the synergy master, looking at the hour to hour cycle, looking at the relationships of the business system or the family or the group system or whatever system you're looking at. This person is looking at all of the people. How do they relate? How do you synergize them? How do you connect them in such a way that they are working at their highest potential? Now we're getting to the nitty gritty, minute to minute cycle, direct connection to the customer, direct connection to what is really occurring. What's the path that people are walking down, either mental or physical? And how are we giving our greatest service to whoever it is? Which brings us to the present moment of now. This is marketing. These are marketing strategies. This is happening all the time right now. The marketers making things happen that it would take months for everyone else to make happen. They're so connected. They're so in the present moment. They can see opportunities. They can see what has to be connected. They make the phone call. They send the email and all of a sudden, boom, all the products of the system have been sold. And this person's in Costa Rica having a little glass of wine at night. 
doing nothing, making huge bucks. Now, overseeing everything in timelessness is the steward, the stewardship, the leadership team, the people who are holding the energy to get forward to where the whole system needs to go. They're focused on the agreements between all the people and the relationships, making sure that they're going in the right direction and in alignment with the higher values of the system. And so what you see before you now is a whole system of 10 different functions that if you're having a Zoom meeting, the different people can choose which function they feel they're coming from, which perspective are they in at that moment. If you see five people in marketing, it's very different from no people in marketing. Or you see everyone in one particular thing, the whole meeting, then you know they feel comfortable in that role and that's the perspective they're holding. Some point you want to get all the perspectives filled to get a full team together. So if you're missing pieces of the puzzle, you're going to see by the functions that are used, which ones do you have and which ones are you lacking? So all 10 of those functions or those templates fit on this, which is the time translator, which is the way you look at all the different time cycles coming together. At the purple, you have your lifetime. At the blue, you have your yearly. At the aquamarine, you have your lunar. At your gray, green, you have your daily. At the yellow, the switch point, you have seasonal. Pink is an hourly. Minute is uh, orange is minute. Red is present moment. At magneta is timelessness. So what you've seen is you have frames of reference from each of these time cycles, each that have one word that is the specific focus point of what you're looking at. So the person at yearly is looking at resources while the person at daily is looking at activities. So each of these cycles has a specific word that again becomes a lens for what you see the whole through and what you're responsible for. And so when you put all 10 together, now you're taking into account all of the fundamental conceptual words that make up a operating business system. And when you start to see how simple it can be, it'll change your whole viewpoint of, of the complexity of, let's say, your average business system. Because what we're trying to do is we're trying to find the simplest lens to look through, have them all there together, and then use that as the reference point for people communicating together about the business they are in. So when you have different teams, you have different people. Each person is looking through that different frame and they're responsible for something different in the business system. They all work together on whatever is your central core goal or purpose. And uh, it can be custom designed pretty much to any situation because everyone has relationships. Everyone has resources, everyone has activities. These are words that organize what humans do in their operations of business. So if you're interested in this, give me a shout and we'll look at getting you a set of the frames so that your team can use these frames to get organized.